I've had the X2 A30M for roughly two years now and I've used it a lot. However, there've been a number of similar dongle style scanners released over the years. And so how has the A30M held up? Should you be spending your hard earned money on this? And is it still a good tool to buy in 2025? That's my subject today. Now let's get this. Just to note that this video isn't sponsored, although I received this as a free review sample, but that was way back in 2023. I'm revisiting this scanner because the attraction to the X2 A30M is that it was the first Bluetooth dongle pro level scanner to support all system scans, full bi-directional testing, and 21 service functions, despite having lifetime free updates. To my mind, this was the first time that a manufacturer was releasing a device where you didn't have to pay for a subscription and yet had bi-directional or active testing. Over these past two years, I've really put this scanner to the test. Most times for ease of access, I even keep it in my car since you just need a phone or a tablet to use it. I've tested transmission solenoids on my 2017 Honda Accord plus loads of other bi-directional tests. For service functions, I recently used it to reset the electronic throttle body on a 2013 RAV4 and I also used it to successfully go through Toyota's very tedious ABS bleeding procedure on the same car. Now the truth is a lifetime update tool is only going to be as good as the frequency at which the manufacturer publishes updates for the device. And on this, I'm happy to share that X2 has really kept up with pushing out updates to this device. If I go into updates here, even though we're still in January 2025 as at the time of shooting this video, you can already see that there are updates released as recently as a week ago. But Renault and Pontiac have 20 25 updates the cylinder special function has been optimized and some bugs fixed and you can just see that a lot of the dates for the updates are mostly late 2024 or 2025 abs bleeding has added support for suzuki and you can see that this lexus update has just expanded support for these 2024 models it's also good to see that some updates like for this mercedes-benz is going as far back as 2011 to rectify an issue and it's not just for the benz there are some other examples examples of this and the updates and it just tells me that X2 has a serious commitment for publishing updates to this device. Aside the updates is also being recently refreshed to support the CAN-FD protocol. That said, a caveat that this tool won't do it all, there's no scanner that does everything in every car and you're still going to have some of those challenges with bugs as you would generally see occasionally with X2 devices, however they do a pretty good job at rectifying these quickly. In all, this tool is fast has pro level features and still gets the job done in 2025 without any subscription fees i still believe that this is hands down the best scan tool to get in the 200 to 100 dollar category and links are in the description if you want to check it out hope this has been helpful do subscribe and check out other content that i have on the channel and i'll catch you on the next one peace